Hey Tri-City, I'm Aaron. This is TCNN. It's great to have everyone back on campus this year. And this year, we have so many new staff members. With this new group of staff members, we're really excited to see what they can do in the future. My name is Nick Russ. I am new to Tri-City this year. I came from Rancho Christian High School last year. This is my 10th year. My name is Michael Anarino, and I came from Coastal Christian Academy in the middle of San Diego, and this is my fifth year of teaching. My name is Rod Markham. I'm the high school principal at Tri-City Christian, and I came from Saddleback Valley Christian in San Juan Capistrano. I've been in education about 31 years and 23 years at the last school. I teach AP Gov and all of the junior history classes. AP Gov, Civics, Government, and Economics. My hope is to bring a great student experience here at Tri-City Christian through building a positive campus culture. In addition to that, outstanding, challenging academic program. I can bring some new energy to Tri-City. We have quite a few new teachers this year, so that's exciting. I've learned quite a bit about strategies and events and things that work really well in a small private Christian campus and so I hope to be able to help out in that aspect. I'm hoping to bring some fun, some energy, and some excitement. My past few years I taught elementary and I'm trying to bring that flavor to high school. As we go into a new year we get to meet a whole new group of staff members. Thank you Tua. We're so grateful for our new and returning staff members and their hard work. On August 21st we had our very first football game. On August 20th, Tri-City had their first football game. We got to see Mr. Bright as new head coach, and we got to see his coaching skills play out on the field. I think the first football game went, I think it went okay. We didn't win, but we played pretty well. It was only 7-0. We we're going to fix it, and I have high hopes for the rest of the season. For this season, I think that we'll probably have at least eight wins, and then hopefully we'll go to the playoffs. My expectations for the upcoming season are winning record. Definitely sure our guys can do it, but uh, we just got a lot to work on and we will do it. We're going to prepare for every game the same as every week. Uh, we constantly want to just push ourselves to be better better versions of ourselves than we were yesterday. We, we prepare for everyone, uh, even league game, non league game, playoff game, every, everyone's going to be the same for us. Defense balled out, man. 7 0 game. You can't ask much more of them. The boys battled them. They never gave up. They were working the entire time, no matter no matter what was happening in the game, they battled the entire time. We're just going to build on what we've already done. You know, they. The uh, boys not giving up, that's a, that's a great start. Good job, Tri-City, with playing out the game. Although we didn't win, we did a great job on locking down on defense, and it's looking promising for our next season. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Cedar. Despite the outcome of the game, there seemed to be so much eagle spirit on the field. Next, we have announcements with Jackson Cross. Thanks, Aaron. Tonight, we have a home football game at 7 o'clock against Orange Glen. There's a special theme of wearing red, white, and blue, so make sure you go out and support the Eagles. On Tuesday, we have a home volleyball game against RBV at 5.30. Make sure you go and wear red. On Thursday, we have a home volleyball game against Capistrano Valley at 5.30. This weekend, the seniors are going to be painting their personalized parking spots. So make sure you go out and check them out on Monday. Wow, that's so cool. I can't wait when I get to paint my spot as a senior. Thanks for all the announcements, Jackson. And make sure to support the teams and show your eagle spirit this week. That's all we have for this week, and see you next time on TCNN.